Hey everyone, welcome to this video and today I'm going to show you how to build an MCP powered rag over complex real world documents. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to build your own MCP server, how to do rag over complex real world documents that can involve not only text but complex flowcharts, images, tables and whatnot. And then connect this server to your cursor ID so that you can do search, retrieval, ingesting new documents right from the comforts of your own ID. And you can do all of this in just 50 lines of code. So without any further ado, let's dive in. Before we start, if you're new here, make sure that uh, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button so that it gives me a feedback that I should be creating more content like this. Thank you so much. I want to give you a quick overview of what we are building today. So the user would enter their query from their agent chat mode in the cursor ID. Now the cursor ID, you can say it is acting as our client and it is already connected to the MCP server that we have built. Now the client or the ID knows that what old tools are available inside this server, right? So on the basis of this query, it would uh, first decide uh, what exactly is the right tool to call based on this query. Then it would actually call these tools. So our MCP server has two tools. One is uh, an ingestion tool so that you can provide path to any document on your local directory and it would ingest it to you know our ground X system where we are performing all the rag and stuff and if uh, it's a search query if the user wants to ask some question regarding the documents that are already ingested then it would call the search tool so for the sake of simplicity I've kept the diagram very simple but even if you understand this you can build easily build any MCP server and you can connect it to your cursor ID finally once we have uh, the right tool decided it will call the tool and uh, then we have these two tools which which are connected to the ground x client uh, and uh, there we have two endpoints like one is a, uh, an ingest endpoint so that you can ingest new documents and another one is a search endpoint wherein uh, you can search from your existing knowledge base and uh, all of this knowledge is divided into different buckets so let me show you like uh, the interface of uh, so this is my ground x uh, dashboard and in here like uh, i have all the documents that uh, i have put in different buckets so one is uh, a mig 29 uh, flight manual so this is uh, a fairly complex document as you can see it has uh, not only text but figures diagrams and a lot of difficult things that are not easier for any simple document parser to understand but yes ground x would be able to do so and then I have added second document, uh, which is if you are an avid follower of uh, Daily Dose of Data Science, we have this free ebook uh, that contains a lot of, uh, you know, data science and ML concepts that are simplified using diagrams, flowcharts and more. And so again, this is also a fairly complex document because uh, it contains a lot more than just text. And I'll show you in a bit like how we can easily process all of this uh, right from your cursor ID. Okay. So once we identify the right tool to call, we'll call it and this would provide us a context based on the user query. This context would again be sent back to the ID or the client where we have our agent which are powered by LLMs. Now the LLM would use the initial query and the context to synthesize a coherent response. And this response is then sent back to the developer. So with that, it's time to start the demo and uh, I'll go to my cursor ID where I have all the code to do all of this. As you can see, it's uh, only around uh, 55 lines of code. As I mentioned that uh, we have these two tools. Uh, one is a search tool and another one is an ingest tool. So I'll go over the details of it, but first I would like to show you like once you have this code or once you have your server built, how you can connect it to your cursor ID. Now, in order to connect this server to your cursor ID, what you need to do is to go to cursor settings inside which you would find cursor settings and there you have MCP. So once you go to MCP, here's an option to add a new MCP server. So I just need to provide a name and in this case, I'll call it as a I level rag and uh, then we'll be running it through a command and uh, I just provide the command here. So what I do in the command is I'm using UV, which is a, a great package manager and uh, you specify the directory where exactly your server is present. And then just like we do Python run, you just do run server.py. So once you do that, you just add it yeah, as you can see, now it's enabled, it's connected, and it is already showing me the two tools that are available in this server. So now once you have your server connected to your cursor ID, it's time to interact with it. So I'll just go to an agent chat mode, make sure that you are in the agent chat mode from here, because only agents have ability to do tool calls and stuff. So my first question would be about uh, a document that I ingested about uh, MiG-29 flight manual. So as you can see, it has uh, a lot of uh, complex figures, dimensions and all. 
So what I'll do is I'll ask uh, our system about the dimensions of this flight. So let's do it. Use MCP tools. So you just need to specify like the, for this you need to use the MCP tools. And once you click on send, so it says that uh, it will search the knowledge base uh, for the dimensions of MiG-29 and as you can see it is calling the MCP tool and you can see the name of the tool here as well search docs for rack context so let's run the tool and yes uh, we are able to you know identify the exact length wind span and height and everything from this document so as you can see this is not something uh, that a simple document parser can do but uh, since we are using GroundX, they have state-of-the-art capabilities to process any sort of complex document. They can uh, use vision models to, you know, identify the layouts of the page, identify with what figures are present in them and all. So I'll just give you, I'll just show you an example of, uh, I'll just show you an example of how it actually processes uh, all these kind of documents. So if I click on this bucket where I have MiG-29 and and if I click on X-ray, it would show me like how exactly it is parsing and identifying all the important uh, details in this document. Right, so it is doing sort of object detection on each of these and then, uh, you know, provide a formatted text uh, and uh, a suggested text wherein exactly it is able to see in that particular portion of the PDF or in that particular portion of the image. So all of this heavy lifting is done by GroundX and we are provided the context in text form and our LLMs or the agents in the cursor ID can easily process it. Similarly, like if you go to the next page, it uh, properly identifies uh, diagram and uh, based on this, it understands like uh, what all are the dimensions of this aircraft. So all of this information is nicely passed into a structured format. And uh, you can also have this uh, suggested text summary that uh, contains all the information like the dimension, length, wingspan, height. So yes, as I said, uh, GroundX uh, is really great at parsing this complex document and all of this knowledge is made available to our cursor ID. Okay, so the next question that I'm going to ask it would be from our book and uh, in there we have this uh, chapter on pandas to polars to SQL to PySpark Pi translations and most of the information is given in a table form. So what I'll do is I'll ask what is the equivalent of df.shape in uh, SQL. So let's send this query. Again, like it is calling the right tool and uh, let's wait for the answer. So as you can see that uh, it is able to provide us the right corresponding query wherein uh, if you try to match some of the text, uh, count star from information schema dot columns so and the same thing uh, can be seen here count stars from information schema dot columns so although like it's a fairly simple example but what I just wanted to show you is uh, our system that is using ground X is also able to properly pass all the information that is present in table form as well so now with that I'll come to the last thing that I wanted to show you is how you can ingest new documents. So let's say I have this new document present here and uh, I have uh, the path for it and I'll say that uh, ingest this to my knowledge base. So I'll paste the path here and ask it to use MCP tools. Right, so as you can see, uh, since it's an ingestion request and we have provided the path, it will call the ingestion uh, it will call the ingest document tools. So yes, uh, it's not only, you know, our server not only allows you to interact with the, an existing knowledge base, but you can also easily add new documents right from the comforts of your ID just by providing its absolute path. So our system would take uh, a few minutes to process the document and make it available for search and retrieval. And uh, as you can see the progress, uh, once we send the ingestion request, the document has been received here and I'm making sure that uh, all of these documents are uh, the new documents that you're adding are put into this general bucket. So I'll also tell you about the reason behind having these different buckets. So let's say that you are building it uh, for an enterprise. So there you can have uh, different buckets for different sort of documents like uh, one for HR, one for finance, one for legal and even you can group these buckets together. So in this case like I grouped all three buckets uh, together 
and I can do search and retrieval across all of them. So I just added the, the deep seek paper in here. And if I ask questions about the deep seek paper, so let's say how, how exactly deep seek was trained. So now since uh, the new document is uh, properly ingested, it is available for chat and we are do able to do rag over it. That's all about the demo. I hope you enjoyed it. Now for those who want to understand and dive deep into the code, like how exactly it is done, I'll do a code walkthrough of the same. So everything is fairly simple. You just need to start by installing the dependencies. So in this case, uh, we only have two. So you need to uh, install the GroundX Python SDK and the MCP Python SDK. So once you have both of them available, we'll start by setting up a server. So we'll be using fast MCP. So it's a module provided by MCP's Python SDK and you can use it to, you know, set up your own MCP server. So just need to provide a name for the server. And in this case, I'm calling it as I level rag. The second thing that you need is the ground X client. So this client would be used to do all sort of search and ingestion uh, that I'm going to show you like uh, once we move to the two tools that we have. So our tools are just Python functions, right? And in this case, let's say if I'm talking about the first tool, which is a search docs for rack context, so it would take the user query and based on that user query, it will use the ground X client. And uh, I specify like the group ID of all the buckets, uh, or let's say I can also specify the ID of an individual bucket. So if I do want to search and retrieval or a single bucket, so all of that is provided. So this is generic API code, uh, how exactly, you know, uh, you want to call it and all you need to do is to you know just wrap it uh, inside this mcp dot tool decorator along with that it's really helpful if you provide a nice uh, doc string like what exactly this does so what happens is so once your mcp clients connect to your server so during this handshake what they do is uh, the server would provide the client all the information about all the tools that are present or all the tools that are available so these uh, documentation really helps uh, you know, the client to identify what is the right tool to call based on the user query. So yes, uh, make sure that you are verbose while you are trying to write uh, this documentation. And uh, similarly, we have defined our second tool uh, wherein we provide a local file path. And based on this local file path, we again use the ground X client to ingest this document. So it's fairly simple. And what I want you to understand is you can use all of these concepts or these fundamentals to build any sort of MCP server. So it's fairly simple, it's no rocket science. Uh, but in this case, like uh, just for the sake of this demo and uh, to create a real world use case and show you the capabilities of uh, like what a powerful system like GroundX can do, I integrated it uh, with my cursor ID and now I can, you know, do rag over any sort of document, any complex document right from the comforts of my ID, right? All I need to do is to, you know, either provide a part to the document to ingest it or just fire up a query and search through my knowledge base. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're watching this on Twitter, I have also provided a step-by-step -step guide on how you can do it yourself. And at the end, I'll also share the code for the same as well. So with that, we have come to the end of this video and I hope you learned something new today. I'll see you in another one. Thank you so much for watching.